1438, working with Professor Trevor Thornton on a well-tempered accelerometer. The idea of the project is to use the accelerometer in order to make a low-cost position trajectory tracker. So in the industry, an accelerometer isn't known for getting really precise location data due to the error in propagation. So what we want to set out was to change that and prove that the accelerometer can be a low cost position tracker. So in order to get position from the accelerometer, we take the acceleration data gathered and double integrate it. And this is a technique called dead reckoning. So the approach that we took to be able to find this like location was first we used a frictionless track that we wanted to use to be able to get constant acceleration. But with many trials, we found out that the track wasn't a good um, testing method because of the jitter propagation on the track. So we decided to conduct a real world field test. Uh, we needed to uncover any offsets within the device due to the mechanical um, placement of the sensor within like the actual plastic encasement. So what we did was be able to calibrate the device by determining the X and Y offsets by applying that to variation of, with the filter. And then we'll filter out the accelerometer data using a low-pass filter. Then we integrate the accelerometer data twice. First to get the, the velocity data, and then second to be able to get the position data. To apply all the signal processing to the accelerometer data was uh, written in Python and it was uh, written in the Spider development environment, which is available through the Anaconda Package Manager. And right here are all the libraries that were utilized. And the file under analysis is declared right here. And this really helped with automating our workflow and coming up with analytics very quickly. Uh, in addition to that, we quickly extracted the uh, data. So we have X acceleration, Y acceleration, and Z acceleration being extracted from the CSV file from the Metamotion R sensor. Um, and then with a for loop, we're chopping out Z because we're just interested in 2D plane motion. And uh, right here in this block, we collect some file metrics just for analytics. And then we proceed to plot the X acceleration using matplotlib, the library declared above right, right up here. And then we plot the Y acceleration, the Z acceleration, and then we plot them all together. So just to demonstrate, I'll quickly run the squir uh, script. Uh, we see in the variable explorer, all the uh, variables getting extracted, arrays and structures and so on. Um, right here, we can see that it's plotting the raw X, X, Y, and Z accelerations and all of them together. After all that, we apply a low pass filter to just the X and Y signals. Uh, so we basically declare a filter order and a cutoff frequency. Uh, we use 0 0.03 as our cutoff, and this yielded um, a denoised set of signals that appear as follows, and these seem to work for most uh, trials pretty well by smoothing the signal quite a lot. And then, of course, there is offset removal, and we studied uh, the offsets over 10 tr uh, different trials where we determined a mean offset, which are these uh, values respectively in X and Y. So with the, um, with the offset removed, they appear as follows. And then the next major step of the algorithm is a term that has been coined as data stitching by the team. And what this does is that instead of integrating the entire uh, acceleration vectors in one foul swoop, we are chopping them up into five second intervals, and that is achieved with modulo division right here on this line. And if, uh, you know, dividing by five, if it equals zero exactly, then we take that index value and store it in a list. And then using those index values, which can be found right here, the index targets, we can then target other uh, lists and extract the values and apply the integration. So this is all done with enumerations and for loops and it's quite messy code that could be optimized for the future. But in the interest of time, this is what we stuck with because this is a new method for uh, integrating acceleration data.
and then ultimately the velocity is produced so we plot the uh, velocity and we get that you know for walking in a straight line path we get these mini drifts in each five second interval so blue being the x orange being the y and then uh, we proceed to integrate again in five second loops we did make comparisons however to combinations of integrating with five second intervals and then integrating the whole vector on velocity or integrating the whole thing and then integrating with five second intervals on uh, position. However, we found that the best results were obtained by just integrating in five second intervals for both velocity and position. So then displacement data was generated by integrating velocity in five second intervals. And this is what we uh, determined right here. And then finally, we get a spiderweb trajectory that appears as follows because the integration keeps resetting to the origin and then in excel we we exported everything into excel so that we could further uh, manage the data and reconstruct the displacement information while results were improved and position was able to be constructed just from acceleration data alone which was pretty amazing we found there needed to be more research in this field in order to gain a more accurate and usable trajectory and position. Possible recommendations we had included predictive filters, machine learning techniques, and the Kalman filter, which uses data fusion. For instance, it'll take a, a GPS and acceleration signal, combine them in a predictive filter, and output a more accurate trajectory. Another option was to include multiple sensors, including the gyroscope or something to measure the Earth's magnetic field. This was due to the air that we had holding the sensor, the orientation varied as we walked, so to have something to keep it on track would give us a much more accurate integration, especially doing it two times when a lot of error was prone. Us as Team 38 really enjoyed working on this project this semester. Thank you.